peace, love, and wellness. I want to talk about how to have a bulletproof immune system. One, sunlight, maximum sunlight. Two, clean air. Three, clean water. Four, alkalizing foods. And five, alkalizing thoughts. These elements cover the basics of nature, the basics of, of light we're dealing with. The sun, which is electromagnetic field that we're living in, and because we are actually living inside the sun, the more that we expose ourselves to the sun, the more of that life force energy we're able to photosynthesize, assimilate, and it raises our vibrations and it, def it defends against anything that is not a part of who we are. Two, clean air. Right now, if we're living in the city, we are dealing with pollution. Pollutions are again, a pollution is again, those elements that are not a part of who we are and therefore they are polluting the body. And once we remove those items, our body can better defend itself against those very elements. So the more that we bombard ourselves with various uh, pollutants, the more our body has a difficult time defending itself because we're dealing with so many different uh, pollutants. Then we have lack of sunlight, which is the life force energy. Clean water. Well, we know that our body is made up of water. We need the hydrogen in our body. So the more clean water that we're drinking as opposed to sodas and basically the other uh, pollutant drinks that are being created in the system, our water should be clean. So we're looking at uh, natural spring water, whatever we can find that source. We don't have it everywhere, but at least the system is providing something and you can get Perrier. Um, you ha there are so many uh, options out there for, uh, for clean water. It's not the best, but it's better than not trying at all. I think if we think about what we're putting into our body, we can uh, improve our immune system and fight the things that are, are making us sick. That's water. Now the next thing is alkalizing foods. There is a such thing as potential of hydrogen that we learned in the sixth grade, seventh grade chemistry class. And that's the pH scale. And on the pH scale, you have this little, this little acid strip stick that we look at and gauge what, um, what level of potential of hydrogen it is. And if it's below seven, it's acid. If it's above seven, it's alkaline. Our body vibrates and isolates at a level of 7.4. And so does the plant-based kingdom. So you want to make sure that whenever you're eating, you're eating alkaline foods. And the most alkalizing foods are your fruits, your watermelons, your, um, your mangoes, your grapes, and, and peaches, plums, and pears. And all this, so many hundreds of fruits that are available out there that we are aware of. have alkalizing thoughts. Alkalizing thoughts are thoughts that aren't breaking you down or they're building you up. Saying things like, I can't, I won't. Um, bringing barriers in the path of things that you would desire. These are um, acidic thoughts. And the acidic thoughts will break you down, will make you have, have um, I guess you can say bad experiences. That's what we would call them if we could give the experiences that come from acid thoughts, which is bad experiences, and we begin to express the way that we feel, we talk about how we feel about it, we say that I feel bad. 
and when we have alkalizing thoughts i can i will and then i do we end up expressing how we feel about that man it felt good for me to get out there and run 10 miles i never thought that i could do it but now that i did it i feel awesome and i feel great and i know the power of doing and the power of being or i never thought that I can progress in this particular position at, at my work. Before, I would say that no, uh, people hate me because I'm black or you know because I'm white. They're gonna put the black person in front of me. Instead of thinking these acid forming thoughts, remember thoughts become things. Remove that entire package and inject a new set of thoughts exactly what it is that you intend to do. And the mind is more powerful than racism. And if we use our mind and remove thoughts that have no positive impact in our life and inject thoughts that have a positive impact in our life, then we will receive the benefits from the alkalizing thoughts. Peace, love, and wellness. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.